<laughs> okay, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us on the Caribbean Corner webinar. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves as normal. Um, just as a reminder for everybody here, put your questions in Q&A and everybody on the webinar today gets a prize draw entry. Um, so listen carefully for the questions towards the end. So to start off with, I'm gonna let Delano tell us um, who he is, where he's from, what his prize is today, because Delano is going last on the webinar, so you need to stay tuned to hear from him. So Delano, give us an intro. Um, you'll need to unmute yourself. Good morning. Thank you, Zara. Um, I'm Delano Miller. I'm the Business Development Manager for Blue Diamond Resorts, actually based in the Northeast of the United States. I was also the past regional manager for, for Blue uh, Royalton Antigua and Royalton Grenada, so the properties in Antigua and Grenada. Um, I am practically living just outside of Philly. It's a nice and sunny day. My plans for the rest of the day is to uh, communicate some with other properties around in Mexico, DR, Jamaica, and I'm um, constantly getting some updates on the on the what I would call incorrect news that was being spreading about the hurricane on the islands. And uh, just to let's put it in the concept, um, we'll talk more about that later. But I I love football. I'm a football holic. Um, some of my North American colleagues, you call it soccer. And uh, I just, I'm Jamaican by birth and I just love to live and I live to love. Super amazing. So we're looking forward to you. And you, you've got a £50 or $60, depending on where in the world you are, reward to give away um, towards yes, the end. So thank you, Delano. We're looking forward to your presentation. Um, we've pleasure. also got Ruben in the house today. Ruben, hello. How are you? Hello, everybody. Thank you. Um, I am very happy to be here today. Um, I have the BDM for Ocean by H10 Hotels. I live in Cancun, which is, please don't hold it against me. I, it's a beautiful weather today. It's very sunny. It feels like 100 degrees, but it's about 68. Um, you know, probably that um, we recently had the, uh, a small hurricane. Small hurricane. <laughs> That's what we call it now. Um, it was a, at least uh, we didn't have any any big problem to you know to report anything anything big. So it was so it was a lot of rain. That was that was that was the, the whole feeling. And thank you everybody for doing this. And I have so many good news to share later. So thank you and see you later. Thank you, Ruben. And you've got a $60 prize to give away as well to one lucky agent when we do the quiz exactly. towards the end. So thank you very the much. The devil is on the details. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, last but not least, we have got Caroline on one of the most beautiful beaches I've seen. Caroline, tell us who you are, where you're from, and then you can start your presentation. Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Carolyn Brown. I'm from Little Harbour Estates on the very tiny little Caribbean island of Anguilla. And that is the beautiful Meads Bay beach behind me, but I'm actually in London, so I'm not sitting on that beach, sadly. The sun was shining behind me. It's now gone, um, but we're delighted to see the sunshine because the weather hasn't been great for our beautiful English summer. Um, and, yeah, so looking forward to sharing a little bit about our three fabulous villas, all very different. Um, and shall I just jump on and start? It's all yours. Perfect. Here we go. Okay, that, all right. Right, Little Harbour Estates, Anguilla. Um, fabulous property, or properties, I should say. Um, three in total on two locations across the island of Anguilla. Uh, for those that um, don't know a lot about the Caribbean and are here to learn more, Anguilla is part of the Leeward Islands. It's up near St. Martin, St. Bart's, St. Kitts and Nevis and Antigua. Um, and we have, three, as I said, fabulous properties, all very different, as I said, two locations. And I'm just going to share, oh, sorry, it's gone a bit quick, share a little bit more about the um, the, the company itself. It's a family-owned company. John and Val Barker um, started the, the business 33 years ago, actually, which is the same amount of beaches on the island of Anguilla. Um, and they're very much to this day still involved. Their daughter, Danielle Barker, she's the MD of the company. And I joined about 14 months ago, but I've had possibly 
25, 24 years experience working with Anguilla as I used to be the tourist board representative in the United Kingdom covering some of Europe and the Nordic region. So all of us have a massive passion for the island as well as a really good knowledge. So, you know, if anybody is looking to ask any questions and, and considering the villas, you know, we do know not just the, the, the properties, we know the destination like the back of our hand. Um, as I said, they're three very different, prop oh, sorry, this is annoying me, three very different properties. We have the Beach House, which is on Meads Bay. We have Le Bleu, which is at Little Harbour. And we have Indigo, which is at Little Harbour as well. So we like to say they're exquisite villas, extraordinary locations in exceptional locations. Um, to share a little bit about Anguilla with you, it is a tiny island. It's 35 square miles, so it's 16 by 3. Our properties are located on Meads Bay here. The beach house is um, freestanding. For those that know the island, it's in between Malihana and the Four Seasons on the beautiful beach. And then across about a 12-minute drive, you'll come to Le Bleu and Indigo, and we're in an area called Little Harbour. So this outlook here is across to the island of St. Martin. And on a really clear day, you can see St. Bart's as well. The properties, um, as I said, are very different, but getting to the destination too. Um, I just thought I'd share a little bit more about access because it's one thing people always say, Anguilla can be a little bit of a challenge, particularly if you're coming from UK or Europe, but we do have very good connectivity now. I mean, North America, you've got American Airlines, Delta, American Airlines are now doing a uh, their service from Miami direct to Anguilla, uh, JetBlue, Spirit United uh, come in via St. Martin. St. Martin is literally a seven minute flight or a 20 minute boat ride from um, to Anguilla. You've also from the United Kingdom via Antigua, you have British Airways and Virgin Atlantic, and then from St. Martin, Air France and KLM. And for the UK um, and European agents, um, on the call on the webinar you know we have very good connections out of regional gateways in the uk that connect through with air france and klm so you can literally leave the uk in the morning and you're in anguilla by 4 35 o'clock in the afternoon you also have condor out of germany we have our latin american carriers and one thing that has really been as increased is the inter-island services with anguilla air service trans anguilla and trade wind aviation Excuse me. And we also have very good private jet service with Anguilla, with a private jet facility built by Lloyd's Aviation at Clayton J. J. Lloyd International Airport. Anguilla Air Services are just launching their festive sea, um, program as is Trade Winds and Trans Anguilla. So again, connectivity is really um, so much better than it has been, and we continue to develop that. The, Property itself, and I'm going to talk firstly about Meads, about Beach House on Meads Bay. They are all very different, um, very different in looks and design. The Beach House is very modern. Um, it's a very beautiful structure that can sleep 16 guests over eight masters. Um, oh, sorry, eight suites. So I'm having a little bit of a problem with my computer here. Um, give you an idea of the layout. It is, you know, we have private tennis courts. We're putting in pickleball or paddle um, courts at the moment. We have a full commercial kitchen here as well. So your main house is here with the private suites. We have an area here with um, two and three, which are additional suites. The area two is fantastic for guests that are traveling with staff or teenagers that don't want to be in the main house with their parents. They have their own direct access there. This area here at number eight is an actual um, acreage of land that we use for special events, hence the commercial kitchen as well. So you've got guests that want to have weddings or family celebrations or parties. They really, it is a fantastic property. All the properties do have this facility as well um, and they can come and access the acreage too. Well, um, we're on Meads Bay, as I said, a beautiful stretch of beats. Um, you can see my cursor up here. That is actually Malihana Resort. And if you go the other direction, you're actually at the Four Seasons. So we're smack bang in the middle of this gorgeous beach. And, you know, all beaches in Anguilla are, are public. There's no private. You have, um, and, you know, even when the island's busy, the beaches aren't overcrowded. And I think that's the beauty of it. You are open to the elements here. I always think it's quite funny. We've got this little picket gate that leads out to the beach, but it's still very private. We get a lot of very noted individuals um, that come to stay at, at the properties. Um, and I think the beach house, as I said, even though it is right on Meads Bay, it still has a huge element of privacy to it and people are not bothered. It's very open plan. 
stunning um, interiors. I'm just going to go through these quite quickly. I don't need to labor on all of them, but just to give you an idea of the look of the properties as well. In the last 12 months, we spent a lot of time um, upgrading all the interiors and all the offerings that we have for the trade as well. And I'll talk about that at the end of the presentation. All our bathrooms have an indoor-outdoor feature as well. And the beach house is quite unique. It actually has a full basement that has a full um, cinema as well as all the gaming facilities. And we do actually turn this into corporate space as well for people wanting meeting areas. It's a 16 seat cinema. There's over 3000 movies um, and games, all sorts of things there. And we have a full bar in there as well. Beautiful sunset looking out on the, it's absolutely stunning. In fact, when we were there in June last year, we had, it was just incredible. In fact, that was one of our pictures, absolutely beautiful. So I'm really having a problem here. Oh, and then we're going to Le Bleu. Le Bleu is a, a little harbour. Again, it's a very large property. It's set over two and a half acres. It's in two different areas. Um, you have the main house, which is the what we call the grand house. And then we have Petit Le Bleu, 22 guests, um, 11 bedrooms. And as you can see, this is Le Bleu here, but this is also Indigo, our third property. So these we often sell as large group, family groups or friends or celebrations, weddings. People will actually take the two properties together. There is two little secret gateways through these gardens too. So people can access both properties quite freely. Um, again, it's over 2.5 acres. You have the back area here, which we call Petit Le Bleu, with two suites. It has another sitting room, games room another commercial kitchen, a second swimming pool. You have the tennis courts here again, which we're installing paddle or pickleball courts into at the moment. It has a gym. Um, people think this is a helipad, it's not. It's actually water gardens. So you come down the water gardens and into the main house. And it's, it's very much an upside down house, the living space and two of the master suites are at the top and then additional suites below. Um, and then number 10 here, we use this as a yoga platform or a dining pavilion as well. And then a really gorgeous area down here on the waterfront, which is our beach access. And we also have a cabana down there and barbecue facilities with jacuzzi. Sorry. Um, and that is, again, just shows you where the villas are positioned and also how close we are to St. Martin as well. Absolutely stunning there in the evening with the twinkling lights. As I said, not the helipad, but the water garden. So it cascades right through into the, up to the stairs and into the main house. And then the second swimming pool, beautiful outlook here, lovely seating area. We have a fantastic dining facilities as well with, um, we can cater up to 30 people for dinner. Again, a second kitchen, the masters, the beautiful, as I said, it's very open. So indoor, outdoor, there's doors at both ends of the living room as well. So really lovely. I mean, there is air conditioning if people want it, but most people tend to open them up and really take in all the, you know, the beautiful fresh air and, and the sunshine. This is the Petit Le Bleu, the second pool. We put in new um, seats and things up here as well. So a lot of changes have gone across the, the villas in all the um the little games room slash seating area up there. Again, this is hugely popular with teenagers. We find a lot of guests, they'll give the main house, they'll take that for themselves, for the adults, and then the kids will come up here and they can do whatever they like and they're not bothering anybody. Um, we have fantastic little beach access here as well for swimming. This is a beautiful sheltered here. It's called Cinnamon Reef, so it's wonderful for swimming and snorkeling. Um, and again, a really nice little area just to sit and relax. Great for children. So anyone traveling with families, it's perfect. And then we go across to um, Indigo. Indigo is our third property. Again, it's still caters for 20 guests. Um, and sorry, this is a little bit of a technical problem, everybody. I do apologize. Um, it caters for 20 guests over 10 masters. You know, it's more of a traditional property, but I actually love Indigo. I think the feel of this property, again, it's very calm. It's got the most stunning gardens. There's little nooks and garden spaces that you can actually tuck yourself away and read as to swimming pools. We have the beach area here. We also have a beach access here where you can come off the sandy beach and swim and snorkel in this area. The beach deck is beautiful in the mornings to come and sit and have coffee. 
Um, again, a very large property. All three properties have their own private tennis courts. And as I said, pickleball paddle is going in at the moment. Um, there's no sharing of any facilities across the three properties. The gardens, as I said, are absolutely beautiful. And it's a very peaceful property, actually. Very pleasant. And the outlook, as I said, absolutely stunning. It's one of my favourite places to sit at night and just see the, the lights of St Martin in the distance. Absolutely beautiful. One thing we have done with Little Harbour Estates is really work on, in the last 12 months, the guest experience. We really recognise that our, our guests coming to the properties, they want to actually do a lot more and experience a lot more. So we work with our guest experience manager um, to really put together a program for them. Um, the island itself has a lot of great activities available to guests as well. So with our, sorry, with our guest experience manager, Kira, we, we really work to, to build together some ideas before they arrive. But, you know, across the island, you've got fantastic kayaking. Scuba diving is becoming hugely popular. We've got four companies on island that really are experienced, Paddy and Bezac. Um, sailing is part of Anguillian um, history. I mean, and again, people can charter boats. They can to learn to sail for children. There's a, um, a youth sailing club, deep sea fishing, paddle boarding, horse riding, hiking. People don't think of Anguilla as hiking because it's very flat. But if you see the picture up the top here with people walking on the part on this road area, you know, the east end of the island is very untouched, unspoiled. There's fantastic swimming pools up there. There's great caving. So again, it's something else that's really growing in popularity. And we've got some great guides on the island that will take guests around. We've got six offshore keys where you can go and have lunch. You can sail out to or take a boat out. They're really great fun, very cute, a little sandy island or prickly pear, silly key. Cycling's huge and we've got mini mokes, any colour you want, your clients can hire. So there's a load of different things as well as the culture and heritage background of Anguilla itself. The golf course um, is actually 18, is a raw resort. It's an 18 hole PGA Greg Norman standard course. There's also a nine hole. Absolutely fantastic. It's really possibly one of the best in the area, in the region. Um, and really, as I said, grow, they've invested an awful lot in it and it is absolutely fantastic. And we can organise teeing off times and everything for them as well. Um, the big emphasis at the Villas too is on dining and also the island. Anguilla itself has over 120 dining options. Um, we've actually put our own dining guide together. We realise guests want to come and experience the island's food as well. So we do have that that is available to your guests. They can choose and we can book where they want to go. But we do have the most amazing chef we call um, Sweets Connor, who is incredible. He's travelled the world chefing and his food is incredible one thing we really like to do is also speak to our guests before arrival to really curate what they like and what sort of menus they want so at least within the first 48 hours of arriving chef has really put together a beautiful array of, of dining options for them based on their taste so we like to do things a little bit differently um the sorry it's not my day, is it? Um, weddings, again, like all the Caribbean, very popular. Again, I mentioned the different spaces that we have across all three villas. Um, we do cater for them very well. Celebrations, anything that, you know, your clients are actually looking at doing. Meetings, as I said, we're very good with small group meetings. We do a lot of little small corporate um, and also kosher celebrations. So, again, we really do cater for every, all our guest requirements. Giving you just an idea of, of the layout of the beach house, which is here, and as I mentioned, that one acre space, and also just how flat Anguilla is and how close we are to St. Martin, really is quite unique. And Meads Bay, again, award-winning, absolutely stunning. Just some of the events that we've organized at Le Bleur as well. And I mentioned before, just touched on the trade portal. On our website now, we have a trade portal that you can access. It has all the information you require. We have our fact sheets, rates, terms and conditions. We have every, a load of um, different menu options, guest experiences. I talked about the dining guides available as well. We've also got children's program and lots of great information. So if anybody would like um, to sign up for that, you can go through and email us and we can actually send you the login and you can get the information from there. We have fact sheets on each pillars. They're branded or unbranded again, so you can send direct to your clients. Um, I'm losing my voice as well. And we do have a fantastic offer at the moment with Indigo where we're doing 
um, reduced um, occupancy, but also we're doing a bed and breakfast offer. Just something a little bit different. We realize a lot of guests don't want to have full chef experience. So we've introduced that as well. And we can share that information with you at the end. Um, we have really great, um, well, we have availability still July and August. If you've got anybody that's wanting to come out sort of for the low or slow season, Christmas is getting or festive is getting quite busy, but we do have some Thanksgiving as well. So if anybody would like to reach out to Danielle or myself, our contact numbers are here and love to hear from you and welcome your guests to Little Harbour Estates on the beautiful little island of Anguilla. That's it for me. Excuse the technical problems and my croaky voice. There we go. Thank you very much, Carolyn. Um, we could see it okay. Um, I just wasn't I just wasn't sure if it was my internet going off or yours at some points, but no, no thank you for those great moving. presentations. So, um, so now we're going to leave the beautiful island of Anguilla. Carolyn, you can... Oh, I think there's a delay somewhere along the line. I think it's my internet. I'm handing over to Ruben. Ruben, it's all yours. Thank you. So I'm not sure if also my internet was a little slow to this morning because was breaking up with you guys, but I always like to start by introducing myself. I am Ruben Velasquez. I am your East Coast BDM. So if you can help, if you can reach out to me, um, US and Canada, please, I am your BDM. And I also destination wedding specialist. So if you have any questions, if you want to grow your business into that direction, um, if you want to be part of one of, one of our fam trees, reach out to me and I am your guy. We're going to have one fun trip coming up on October, so don't lose any time. <clears throat> and before going any further, uh, of course, I don't know if you are familiar with Ocean by H10, but the, today's uh, theme for the webinar is uh, the Caribbean corner. So most importantly is that you have to dream how is to be in the Caribbean, you know, all the different flavors and colors and it's a mix. It's, I, I, what I can tell you is a little bit of, you know, pieces from around the world. You can see um, ingredients in the food, in the architecture, that is a reflection of a little bit of Europe, but also something that is local, that is unique and authentic. So I will tell you about three corners that I really love about the Caribbean, even those that are not considered Caribbeans. But what I love about those areas is that you can sell that experience of going out, make yourself dream, that is going to help you to sell more. If you cannot dream it, you cannot sell it. So experiences with a group, with a family, uh, uh, going out of the islands and discover what is going on around is the best option that you can sell um, and upgrade, of course, and increase your income. So when we talk about ocean, um, you might ask, um, why and who and when. So basically what I can tell you is that we can offer, um, this would, for example, for me, is like a, a selling image. So if you can sell that dream of being in a jacuzzi outside, in a terrace, and it's exclusive for you and your significant other, um, it could be a perfect idea for a destination wedding, for a honeymoon or a, a romantic getaway. So let's start with the basics. Um, the, the corner that I will talk about is going to be in the Riviera Maya in Mexico, in, of course, Jamaica, or beautiful Jamaica, and Punta Cana, Republica Dominicana, Dominican Republic. Let me share um, a lot of this. So if you are familiar with H10, uh, we started building or building or renewing antique houses or palazzos in across Europe. So those are basically city hotels that are located in main attractions around the, that amazing continent. We don't have palazzos, we don't have uh, antique houses, but we have, of course, the beautiful ocean. They created or we created a all-inclusive brand located in the Caribbean, Mexico, Dominican Republic, and Jamaica. We always develop all of our properties. We never took over um, one of our hotels. We are all developed by ourselves in order to give them certain a specific characteristic. You know, the heart of the hotel, it has to be like this Caribbean street that comes alive every night. The architecture, the details, the colors, the, um, the whole destination, it, it is, it's a, actually a taste of what that destination is. It's not a cookie cutter hotel. We always try to give you 
the impression that you are in that island. For example, and this is the Dominican Republic. You can see the beautiful color houses. If you go to Mexico, you will see details that it's gonna show that it's gonna make you feel welcome to Mexico. This is a, um, a Mexican hacienda right in front of the ocean. So even in details inside of the room, it's gonna make you feel this. Of course, it's Jamaica. Do you enter here and you see an airplane that is hanging on the ceiling? Of course, what else? It has to be Jamaica. So basically what we can offer is a multi-generational property that is split in different areas. The one would be, for example, the daisy section. That is the perfect area for what I call couples with kids because they don't wanna be called like boring family. It's couples that they want to, they have kids, of course, and they have th their own necessities. They want to go to the daisy club. They want to go to a restaurant that is exclusive for kids. They have teenagers that they can want to go to the teens club with air conditioning. They want to play music, to play games, a lot of things. So this is actually um, the best layout that I can tell you. From the left, you have the daisy section. On the right, the whole, pretty much 50% of that hotel is uh, El Peso section, which is adults only. And on the front, you have buildings that are located uh, near the beach. That is the privilege section, our near a category that I will tell you about later. El Beso, it's an adults only experience inside of the hotel. So it feels like a hotel within a hotel. They have their own uh, check-in area, they have their own pools area, their own restaurants, even their, uh, the beach area. So it feels like a separated area inside of the big hotel. It's ideal for when you're planning a multi-generational destination wedding, if you're working with a big group that they will, they have, some of them have kids or they, they don't. Um, also, we have a, as part of our promising of uh, multi-generational activities, the bowling alley, that is something that is included, no extra fees are involved. The, the Lazy River, that is a water park included as well in Dominican Republic, Ocean El Faro, and in Jamaica, Ocean Coral Spring. We are introducing in Jamaica our dining show, which is an adults-only experience, um, and all the guests from Ocean Eden Bay, are uh, have access to this totally complimentary no extra fees included um what you can see here is a little bit of the history of the music in jamaica and of course a great taste so everybody hotel every hotel in jamaica is going to tell you like they have the best jerk chicken in town and here not only have the best jerk chicken because they will explain the ingredients there where are they coming from what is them you know what represents in the history of jamaica but also have a great music selection that is uh, uh, created for you this is uh, something that i really love because uh, we are located in trelawney this is in in Falmouth, and as far as i know that area is um is that is where actually was uh bob marley was born so that was a little homage for him. What to do in Ocean Hotels is, um, of course, non motorized aquatic sports are included. Um, uh, you know, uh, the, the tennis courses, the um, uh, kayaking, the spa is not part of the all inclusive. However, we have a great variety of uh, affordable for everybody. So when you're traveling with a group, for example, um, we can have a service of $250 that is exclusive for you in front of the beach uh, and includes a two hours massage. But also we have, a, you know, many petty services for $40. So that is convenient when you're planning something like a big group that they want to have like um, girls, that are, you know, uh, get away. So they have a, the, the possibility of select whatever service without having to spend hundreds of dollars in just one service. Um, the, the, of course, if they are very into fitness, um, they're gonna love all the fitness centers at our hotels. Um, and of course the dancing club, which is something that is uh, available until 3 a.m. is very much more a popular area that all destination weddings end up. And just want to tell you that now we have at all of our properties, Pickleballs. I know that, especially in the Midwest, um, I have a lot of clients that are requesting pickleballs, and we not we not only have one, but uh, for example, in this case, if this is Ocean Alfaro, we have up to five pickleballs course. So if you're planning a tournament or something like that, let us know, and we can host that as well. The spacious spa center, and most importantly, gastronomic offer. 
I wanted to tell you, basically we work on the first come first serve uh, service. You don't need to make reservations. We're gonna talk about uh, specialty restaurants that are, might require a uh, reservation. You can make it up on an application on your phone. You can do it on a website. You can do it on, on the phone. You can do it going to the guest service as you prefer. But most importantly is that it, it's, be, it's because we try to upgrade our service level. So for example, this is the Tepayaki. This is our most um, popular restaurant because it's an interactive show. So you will be having a lot of fun in here. So this has a sitting every 45 minutes. This is why it, re it requires a reservation. And even though if we don't have, if you're just arriving and we don't have any space, we're gonna give you a buzzer. So it's gonna let you know when is the next sitting available for you. This is, for example, an Italian restaurant, the best Bella Grill. This, um, we always have an international cuisine grill that is located in front of the beach. That restaurant has um, a, a buffet style and is near the beach because when you are having fun at the beach, you're going to get hungry. And that restaurant usually is also a very good option for destination weddings. This can be rented as a premium venue, just in case you want to have like air conditioning, ocean view, a little sand on the, on the left. Also, we have all Mexican restaurants. We are introducing in Jamaica or Indian cuisine restaurant specialty. So if you love Italian or I'm sorry, in, in, in Indian cuisine, you're going to love this restaurant. It's one of my favorites, uh, El Bodegón. We always have a steakhouse as well. And about buffet lines. So we always go with a different service station and basically they are separated in different sections. This is very affordable for us because you can have, for example, a birthday celebration in one corner. You can have an anniversary. You can have, I don't know, a group of friends that they want to sit together in one area. This is why all of our international buffet styles are, are separated in different sections to make it something like that, to make it that people can have their own sections. The sports bar is the best play, for example, for Delano. He's going to be watching all the games here for the, the Eurocope there. She's going to love that area. Also, if you offer weddings or if you don't, we have something that we call all-inclusive wedding experience. Includes the DJ, the lighting, the hair and makeup, the present service, um, pretty much the flowers, centerpieces, the tablecloth, you name it. So everything is included and it's very simple for you if you have no experience on selling weddings because when you have those clients that they need to know from day one, how much do I have to pay for my wedding? This is something that is gonna give them a peace of mind. Everything will be included as a photographer and videographer, and they can work from there. And for you, it's a commission of about a thousand dollars. That doesn't sound really bad. So it's very easy as go into one of our websites, oceanperfectday.com. You can select whatever hotel you wanna go, and it's gonna show you the venues, the capacity, um, the restrictions in time, and it will show you all the packages available according with the number of guests that they are planning. Also, they will give them the option to see a little review of the hotel. I don't know, um, the activities included, how many restaurants. So they can share that as well with their, I don't know, uh, their families, their friends, the people that are going to that wedding. And you can submit, of course, um, um, a request for a wedding. And it's gonna get, you're going to get responses within 48 hours about availability. Or if we don't have that specific date in availability, if we're going to let you know what are the dates that are nearby for your group as well. So selling points for you guys. Onyx Center Source Sure Play, that is going to help you to get your commission faster and better. So also direct bookings is about, are available. If you are concerned about your clients going to a website or to Expedia or I don't know, whatever website, uh, you will be for sure that the, the rate that you're offering to your client is the one that we have in our website. Private venues and plated dinner. Forget about buffet lines. So it's going to be a private venue for you. And the plated dinner is if you have that, those clients that are party people, they will enjoy and take care of the three hours and included for their wedding. Don't forget forget about the no, big lines in a buffet. It's, for me, it feels a lot, also a lot of more sophisticated and elegant ideal for a wedding. 
Um, and our rewards program. Remember, if you doesn't matter what channel you're booking your wedding group, you're going to get extra points, extra cash. We have, of course, our rewards program. So reach out to me if you need any extra explanation, if, you, if I can help you in any way. If you have no experience or if you are an expert, I have something for you. Um, please reach out. And I will be happy to help. Also about the privileged guests. Remember what I told you that those, those rooms are located near the ocean. For example, I also recommend this for if you're working with clients that have mobility issues. Think about the privilege as the, the upper service that you're going to get a private check-in, you know, a welcome, a drink, a personalized concierge. So that kind of services you can offer for those clients that are in need. We have adapted rooms just in case you need it. You can request. Those are not guaranteed. But when you're offering a privileged room, um, you're going to make sure that they have access to a privileged lounge, which is um, a pretty much in the same building. You have access to your own restaurant for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You don't need to go to the buffet lines if you don't need to. And you have you can call butler services and get them. Can you help me to go to the, I don't know, um, the spa services? And, and we can pick you up and take you there. So instead of doing an um, adapted room in the main house, you will have a beautiful room near the ocean with more, you know, attention. That, that will be my recommendation if you're doing with, with the people that have mobility issues. This is the privilege lounge in different hotels. This is an ocean blue and sand. So it has a beautiful terrace. Of course, all of our privilege lounge have ocean view and are located in front. So it's the best option if you want to have a mimosa in the breakfast morning because I love to have an ocean view breakfast. And of course, um, also the privilege, I will recommend that as well for when you have those clients that they want to open the window, see the ocean in front of them. This is the ocean front. Um, for example, this is a master suite rooftop, uh, ocean front master suite. Sorry. Going, <laughs> then calling me, um, going faster. So this is just a few recommendations that I have in general, uh, rooms that we have an inventory. Remember, there is a lot I know. And last but not least, reach out if you need to know about H10 Pro, if you want to get involved in how to sell directly. And also, you can offer all hotels in Europe. That's very easy to sign in. And of course, this is a few images of the hotels that I was telling you in Europe. If you want to increase those possibilities, reach out to me. And once again, thank you so much, everybody, for doing this. And I think it's time for Mr. Delano to come over. Thank you very much, Ruben. Sorry to uh, to break it off there, but reached your 15 minutes. It's over to Delano. Thank you, uh, Ruben. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, good morning once again, everybody. If you can share, if you can see my screen, please let me know. Uh, Sarah, could you are you seeing my screen now? Not yet. No. If you if you share screen, and then um, it looks like you've not pressed share screen yet. Uh, I hope I'm there now. That's the one. It's working. It's working now. It's. Good. I think it's just calculating. It's coming on. Here we go. We're ready. Okay. Wonderful. Once again, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And Delana with Blue Diamond Resorts. Uh, we're talking about our property in Grenada, which is our Royalton Grenada. For those who are familiar with our properties, which is the Royaltons, the Hideaways, Starfish Memories, etc. Uh, the this property is a standalone property. We're not we're not like the other Royaltons where we have a Royalton hideaway and a Royalton on the same complex as we call it, individual operated hotels. So this is just this is in Antigua and Grenada. We only have the Royaltons, and um, and I speak about, a little bit more about another one later. So the Royalton Grenada is based actually right there. At Tamarind Bay, we're 10 minutes from the town. We're actually literally three minutes from the airport to the hotel in Grenada. We are a lovely property, 269 rooms, and we are the talk of the town in Grenada. Uh, for, before I even go further, for those who are asking, insinuating, or even worried, we were not affected by Hurricane Burl. Hurricane Burl did a, did a pretty bad number and Cadicou and Petite Martinique. 
And those are the three islands that make up the country of Grenada. But the island of Grenada itself, the main island, the bigger island, will have the minimal damage. So a little bit of trees fell there, etc. But the uh, the major damage is the island of Caracu, which is about five miles away, and also Petit Martinique. Okay. Um, I um, As we said earlier, we give a little bit of geography lessons where we are located. We're located just above Trinidad and we have Barbados to our to the east. And uh, up top above us, we have St. Vincent and uh, St. Lucia. So we are almost towards the end of the bottom of the Lesser Antilles in the Caribbean. For those who know what Grenada is. Grenada is much more than the Spice Island. Grenada, Grenada is very, very well known for a lot, I mean, a wonderful sporting history, especially cricket, track and field, and it's one of the most peaceful, tranquil islands, one of the best beaches and best stretch of beach in the in the Caribbean, as it's called the Grand Isles Beach, which is like another five minutes away from us. So let's do a little bit of the property. We're, we are 269 rooms, as we said before. And of course, we have a wonderful world-class spa. And for my friends who have been to other properties, this is the only property that do not have a hydrotherapy spa. We uh, have unlimited food and drink. We have three specialty restaurants plus a buffet. Our specialty restaurant is the Taj. This is an Indian restaurant. We have a French restaurant, Italian, and also a main buffet. We also have five bars. And we have also just added our small restaurant, which we do lunch and dinner at, on the main beach. And that one is called Nibbles. So we are also into fitness, tennis, aerobics, a gym, a spa, and of course we also have pickleball. So we're looking at the picture right now here up top of our of our signature Royalton pool, which is adjoining to the Italian restaurant in Terrace. And from this pool here, my the, the picture at the bottom left, you have a wonderful view of St. George's, the capital of Grenada. In the uh, beautiful views to, take, to, to be in the afternoon and for sunset. Um, a little more property. Um, we do have our standard rooms that are diamond club rooms. Our diamond club is not a club, but it's actually a room category, it's elevated room categories that also comes with our coveted butler service among other amenities. We also do small weddings and small groups. Our conference area, uh, we could host approximately 50 persons, theatre style. So we do hold quite often small groups, small seminars, small training, small workshops. And of course, we held our wedding receptions here because if it's a large, if it's a larger group, we can do it outside on the grounds, but we also uh, do quite a lot of weddings, uh, anniversaries, renewal of vows, all those special occasions that are celebrated. We actually do that and cater to that quite often. It's a picture of one of our pictures on the beach. So we could have you a beach wedding. We could have your wedding in our gardens. The beach is quietly preferred. And we have a lovely stretch of beach. Our beach is actually separated into two sections. It starts from the Diamond Club area all around to the Italian restaurant, and there's a small separation. And the other side has a smaller side of the beach, which, which are, we call it like a private cove, but it's beautiful. And the island of Grenada, as I said before, perfect for any, for any type of travel, and it's a wonderful destination. Honeymoons and weddings, of course, as I said earlier, this we do specialize in. And you just need to be on the, be on the island at least 20, at least 48 hours before your wedding. That's what's required. We ensure that we have your wedding certificate before you depart the island. And we put everything in motion for you before, after, and during your wedding. We're here to support you and we will support you. Okay, okay. Logs with accommodations. So as I said earlier, our property is broken down into log into standard and also diamond club room categories. Or or luxury accommodation or standard rooms. All the rooms, all the rooms have high thread counts, um, sheets, a USB charging station, free high speed Wi-Fi, uh, internet, in-room safe, interior power outlets. And for those of my friends from the UK, you may bring your uh, you may bring your charger down, but we do have one station with 220 outlets, or 
our power outlets are 110. But we do have one, so you could also you could also bring your um your adapters with you, or we can also help you to source them on the property or on the island. That's not a problem. We do get them easily. Our safes in all rooms is complementary. Satellite television, so we do have a sporting bar area, or also in your room, so we do catch our matches, whether it's football, or rugby. We're guaranteed to have it for you live. So it's cricket, football, or rugby, uh, from a North American friend, soccer, and um. But we're also, we're much into our game. So whatever games is going on, we'll have that for you live. And it's a guarantee. 24-hour room service. We All our rooms come also comes with a mini bar. And of course, the, the, uh, the menu for the mini bar and the 24-hour room service for the Diamond Club, in the Diamond Club rooms are a little bit more elevated. Are much more elevated. Um, each room has a balcony or a terrace. And at Royalton Grenada, at least 65% of our rooms have a view of the ocean. At the bottom, we're looking at one of our walkout category rooms. And these are always, always booked, like the swim out categories. And I could provide further information. Again, I'm going to leave my email address so we could have a little bit more detail in the um, look at our properties and, for, and to answer all questions. But I'll also be available after the webinar and right throughout to answer your questions and continue communicating with you. As I have to, uh, some other looks at our luxury accommodation rooms and to the middle, the middle picture is of our somewhat category rooms and there are diamond club section of the property and the diamond club rooms. All somewhat rooms are diamond club. Luxury dining, as I said earlier, up top is our Italian rest, up top is our, um, our Taj, our Indian restaurant, uh, our our um, Grazi Italian restaurant is to the is to the right. Apologies, no no pictures here. My Grazi Italian restaurant. Uh, our Taj is Indian. My Masson is French, and our cafe lounge is at the bottom. So we do have Indian, French buffet, and Italian cuisine on property. Up top here is our cabinets, which are available for rent which um, provides your service with your bottlers, et cetera. And this one is by the pool side, and we do have one on the beach. So Diamond Club services. You have your bottle service, preferred room location. We have select, select in-room sweet liquors, preferential reservation or a, la carte, a, la, or a la carte restaurants, exclusive Diamond Club beach area with waiter service, distinctive wristbands, and the, and the list goes on for Diamond Club category rooms and our Diamond Club guests. As I said earlier, we're family friendly at this property. It's um, not just adults only, it's for everyone. And we do not have an adults only section at this property. So we do have our games, our fabulous kids club. When they get to the kids club, it's a very big challenge. Actually very difficult to get them away to come back to you in the afternoons or in the evenings when they're ready because they make friends. And for the entire week, these kids create the United Nations and they're always together. Friendships have been born there. We have had guests who've been back the last three years because the families have become such great friends and the kids want a vacation together. Thanks to the kids, our greatest selling tools. And just a little more pictures of the property, various areas and pictures of the properties. Uh, thank you, Sarah. That's it for me so far. Ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to your questions. I'm here. My name is Delano Miller. Uh, Sarah, I could ask, we could put my email address there in the chat. And um, I am here to answer all your questions. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and um, at your service. Thank you very much, Delano. Um, I remember visiting this property uh, quite a few years ago when it wasn't Royalton and the renovations that have happened are just wow it's uh it looks super and it's in a great spot as well um so thank you very much for your presentation and um, Delano just while we're doing the next part if you want to just type into um the chat your yes. email address um don't yes. worry though everybody because we will be sending out a copy of the recording and I will copy in um, all of the speakers from today. So you will have their email addresses anyway, but just if you need them quickly, um, Delano, just, just pop it into chat. Um, so uh, we've had a few different questions that have come through and people have been answering them behind the scenes. Um, Debbie has just asked for you, Delano, um, can you repeat how long couples need to be on site prior to weddings? 
we request a minimum of 48 hours before. 48 two hours. Day. Two Super, days. thank you. Yes. Two days. <laughs> um, and Simone's asked, um, where do we go to get the um, Royalton and Grenada for agent rates? That will be that information will be sent to us. And once you qualify, of course, a very important question. You'll uh, you'll have to be registered with us. Of course, it's on my, my booking rewards.com. You have to be registered with us. And also we 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 implore you, please register your bookings before travel, because that's when you'll be you can be rewarded for them, not after travel. It's also here. So once you are set registered with us and you have your booking with us, that's two of the most important steps to be able to be extended travel agent rates. And of course, it's always based on availability. So you send an email to me and then we'll take it from there. Perfect. When I do the follow-up tomorrow, I will send um, the links of all the reward programs that you can sign. Um, we have a different one for the UK and a different one for North America. So right. I'll put both on and then wherever you're from, you can join the relevant one. Um, the computer's pretty clever as well. When you do sign into the wrong one, it automatically pushes you onto the correct program. So you're all good there. So um, thank you, everybody. Um, do I have any more questions? Oh, Leonor has just asked, what is the said schedule for the kids' club and the fees? There's no fees for the kids' club. The schedule is normally from 9.30 until 4.30. We, do, we don't have an in-house nanny service, but we do work with an outside third-party company, and that can be done for after hours. But our is normally from nine ten from nine thirty until four thirty for the kids club. Super, thank you. Um, a couple of questions that have come in as well is um, it's we we always get the questions. It's about the um, the videos and photos for for the agents to be able to use them onto their social media or websites, etc. When you do your follow ups to the agents, and um, which will be tomorrow onwards when I send you the data. Would you be able to include there some links or some images so that they can go and get them? This is for Ruben, Carolyn, and Delano. Um, it's for all of you. We've had a few requests for for content. Sure, just send us yes, show that to email and also on my um on my signature, it's there. Uh, my apologies, Ruben and Carolyn. Uh, please go ahead. I cut your eyes off. Ruben, no, you're, no, you're fine. I mean, as, as I said in the presentation, we've got the, the trade portal on the Little Harper Estates website. If anyone would like to um, access that, if they just send me their details and we'll give them the login and it's a one-stop shop. It's images, it's fact sheets, it's absolutely everything there now. It's And we constantly update it. So it just makes your life much easier just to go there and access what you need. Yeah. And we provide the same too. So we'll send the links to you. Hey, so Ruben. Pretty much one-stop shop. I will send you a link to our media site so you can download images, pictures, fact sheets and everything. Uh, actually, you can search by hotel. And if you have any questions about any room category, you can go there and see different pictures from different angles and so much more. So uh, I will follow up with everybody and thank you for all your questions. Super, thank you very much. Um, okay, so now we get to the point of the day where I love where we test the agents. So as a reminder, everybody that's valid and attending the webinar today will be entered um, into a prize draw. So you all get one prize draw point. We've now got Ruben, Carolyn and Delano that are going to ask a question. Uh, I'm not sure if it's my internet, but um, I, there was- No, no, I was think me, Sarah's just frozen. If you are the fastest finger with the correct answer, is it me freezing? Yeah, we yes. just lost you. Okay, so, uh, okay, go to chat, everybody. Make sure that your drop down says everyone. And Carolyn, if you can go first. Okie okay, doke. Right, Anguilla has 33 fabulous public beaches, but the beach house is positioned on which award winning beach? People were listening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, going back up to this top, Kerry said it's Meads Bay. Correct. Okay. That one there, Perfect. right where I am here. <laughs> Kerry, you have your Manning, my fair point. Australian skin. <laughs> Super, thank you. Ruben. So this one will be very simple. Um, I mentioned three different destinations in the Caribbean. Uh, can you name the three destinations I talk about? The ocean has hotels in there. The three 
Got the three, three. One. The three. There you go. Ah. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so, oh, scrolling back oh, up now. So, it's um, Mexico, uh, Dominican Republic, and Jamaica. So Rob was the first person. He's put Jamaica, is Cancun, and DR. Is that does that count? Cancun or is uh, it Mexico? No, someone before said uh, the right answer. Uh, somebody before was Jamaica only. So it was she put Jamaica, Cancun, and DR. Okay, let's make it like Cancun. Is is Cancun okay, or do you want Mexico? It's okay. It's okay, Cancun. Okay. Well. Rob was the first person because Debbie was Jamaica. So Rob, Rob said Miller. Jamaica, yeah, Cancun, and DR. Do you accept that one? Rob yep. Miller. Yeah. Okay. Super. Rob, you have your points. And last but not least, Delano. Okay. Mine is going to be even easier. How far away from the airport is the property? That's correct. I see that before. <laughs> <laughs> I will the, the three minutes definitely yeah. three minutes oh three, literally three minutes away and I saw <laughs> that. sometimes it, sometimes at... it will take three minutes but sometimes I see drivers take two minutes but the, the correct answer is three minutes. <laughs> okay, so three minutes. Ellie was the first person, and I must admit, when I left, I walked back to the airport with my suitcase <laughs> and my handbag Why? and my else because I could. Okay, because <laughs> you can. Uh, it's so it's so close. Yes, that's, that's, uh, you see the airport sign before you see the air, you, you pass the hotel, you see the airport sign before you see the hotel coming in from the city to the airport. So we're basically in the airport range. Yeah, exactly. We're part of the airport's property technically, but you do not hear exactly. the planes. You do not hear the planes coming in because the, the runway is yeah. to the other side. Yeah, no, it was perfect. So yeah, just walking back with my suitcases and everything was happy days. So um, a big thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Thank you to Ruben, Carolyn and Delano. Um, sorry, there's been a couple of internet glitches. I think it's more at my side. Um, so it's nearly the weekend. Have a great weekend. I will send the follow-up tomorrow. And don't forget these hotels that are talking to you right now, they're completely trade-friendly. They're on your side. They want to work with you. So please, if you can push any business their way, um, please do so. Any questions you've got, please let them know. You'll get a full follow-up tomorrow. And if we don't see you before, have a great weekend and we will see you all next week. Thank, Thank you, team. You. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thanks, bye -bye. Thanks for arranging, bye. Sarah. Bye. No problem. Thanks, everybody.